everyone talking about French Flower by Matier Premier. The notes in this fragrance are pear, Nigerian ginger, tuberose, orange blossom, Chinese tea, ambroxan, and musk. I'm not sure what they mean by Chinese tea because that could, I would assume, mean so many different types of popular tea uh, using like Chinese cultivation methods, but either way, there's a tea note in here. I don't like tuberose and pear, and those notes are too present here for this to be something that I would be a fan of or wear, but I actually think it's really smooth and totally, like a lot more you know palatable to me than I would have possibly expected as somebody who really, really does not like tuberose. Pear I don't hate, but it usually just doesn't do it for me. It adds like a little bit of like a sweet watery vibe that I don't usually like. But yeah, this is so much more pleasant to me than like 99% of tuberose dominated fragrances that I try. The ginger and tea add this kind of like nice grounding quality to it that stops it from being too like over the top cloying or indolic. The musk here is of the cleaner variety as well, which is nice. Uh, this is overall, yeah, pretty versatile in terms of it would work for all kinds of different weather, all kinds of like casual and formal occasions, etc. Leans feminine. Uh, the votes on Fragranica say kind of a unisex leaning feminine. And yeah, I think this could also just kind of smell almost like a fresh aquatic or something if worn by someone more masculine. Good longevity and projection. This goes for 260 for a hundred mil. If you like tuberose, but you don't want something that's like the typical, just like screaming bouquet of tuberose, this is totally worth trying. That's definitely the dominant note overall. And yeah, just pretty well done compared to what I expected to someone who does not like most of the notes in this, but yet I find this, I would have no problem being around someone wearing this. Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can get a bottle or sample.